Hey everybody, welcome to the Known Zone, or should I say Bom Dia? Uh, that's how you say that in Portuguese or Brazilian. Uh, and I don't know how to say Known Zone, but uh, we have a very special guest today, the hilarious Rafi, Rafi Bastos, Bastos. Uh, one of Brazil's number one comics, and probably soon one of your favorite comics in the United States. Uh, Rafi can be seen on the Joe Rogan podcast, uh, his but more, more channels, the Known, the Known Zone, Zone podcast. podcast. And uh, today's very fun and actually kind of a change. Uh, we talk about something more contemporary. We talk about the current political state in Brazil, uh, Lula da Silva, the former president, becoming the new president again after being incarcerated, uh, Jair Bar Bolsonaro. 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 Yeah. And uh, it's great. So uh, please check that out. Enjoy the episode. And also email us uh, or DM us about uh, what who you'd like on the pod and also uh, episode topic ideas that you would like or just suggestions in general. And head on over to Apple, iTunes, uh, or Spotify and rate and review and subscribe and all that shit. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the episode. Rafi Bastos. Did you clap in already? I don't think you clapped, Autumn. I'm going to clap at the end. What? Really? At the end? Yeah. At Is this the a new thing? What the fuck? It's called tail slating. Wow. Why? What the fuck? Yeah, she's link I guess you just need a slate somewhere. But yeah. does it, why does it, why? You know what? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah, suck my ass. <laughs> Can you just do a podcast? <laughs> Let's do one hour of us clapping at different times. <laughs> You guys, oh. welcome to the Known Zone. My name is Andy Haynes, and I'm joined by my co-host and good friend Wilfred Paddle. Oh, good friend! That's the first time you've ever said that. Well, you say best friend a lot, so I want to make sure friend. that he knows good friend. That's a lot. That I think of him as a good friend. No, uh, Wilfred, me. That's are still best not friends. equivalent. Yeah, yeah we're best is. friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am your best friend. You are. You are. Name best another. Friend. Name a better friend. Uh, I don't have one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, but we're joined by uh, a very special guest. The guy is who's probably he's probably going to be my best friend. Yeah, because um, he's too he's especial. I don't know how to say that. How do yeah, you say? Yeah, said half Spanish and half Portuguese. It's okay. Well, how do you say special? Muito especial. Yeah, you guys, Muito. You guys talk Muito. so funny. Muito that's, that's especial. Yeah. <laughs> this one is difficult. Yeah, you you chose a very difficult word to say. I Muito. Muito. Muito legal. Muito legal. Sim. That's very cool. Yes. But we're joined by the very uh, hilarious. Am uh, I? Yeah, a very uh, successful. That, that, uh, that I agree. Yeah. He's, <laughs> I am. He's, <laughs> that I agree. No, I mean, it's it's. It's that, amazing. That, there's, no, there's no discussion with the success. Here's the thing. His name is Rafi Bastos. Woo! He's from Sao Paulo. Don't clap because he's going to... Right? Uh, no, we can slate some more. I am from... Sao Paulo? I was born in the south of Brazil in a city Porto called... Alegre? That's it? Yeah, I've been there. You've been there? I've been to Porto Alegre. Yeah. yeah why? Because my friend uh, was... So he was obsessed. We all grew up with a Brazilian football coach. A soccer coach. Okay. And so we all kind of learned to love Brazil. Like we listened to music at practice. We watched the films and all that stuff. And some of them took it too far. And they studied it in college. And then they studied Brazilian like psychedelica and like all the music genres. And he was like kind of that camp. It feels like these guys were. It's like, you know how uh, white guys will go to like study a bunch of shit about the Philippines to learn how to have sex with a Filipino yeah, lady. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. No, this was like. Um, so he was like a Jewish kid. And so he he want, he like did one of those made up majors at NYU okay. where he was like half Jewish studies, half Brazilian music. Okay. And so he <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So he went down <laughs> and he worked in the Jewish community in Porto Alegre. Oh. And then he banged a lady, and she got pregnant. And Guess then she who was, was like, right in the end? Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, "I'm keeping it." Wow. And then he said, I don't want to live in Porto Alegre because it's like a hard place to live, kind of, because it's kind of corrupt and it's in oh, the it? middle of. Is it a big city? Oh, big. Two million people. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. It's like, a, it's like the Seattle of Brazil almost. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like more working class. Yes. They also have like a very, it's weird. Uh, all the. I never imagine I would do a podcast about Porto Alegre. This is very surprising. All the Nazis that hid yes. in Brazil hid in the south. The south. Oh. It was, the, Port it was uh, the south of Brazil. A lot of Chile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's. Are you part Nazi? I'm not part Nazi. Are I'm you part Jewish? Jewish. I'm part yeah. Jewish. My father, my father is Jewish. Oh. Uh, 
So I've heard Although that, that is a good cover. Yeah. I'm not a Nazi. I'm a Jew. No. Yeah. <laughs> M-A-N. You know that's a difference, right? If what? You're, if your uh, name ends with M-A-N, uh -huh. you're, you're a Jew. If it's M-A-N-N. -N, you're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. Okay. That's oh. good to know. So one N. That is, I mean, I would, that's yeah. The, that's it's the covered. real N word. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's going to make everything wow. complicated in your life. <laughs> yeah, because I was down there and I knew that there was some like creepy Nazi stuff in the past down there. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, do you want to come out to this accordion festival? And I was like, no fucking way. Accordion festival? Yeah, like like German music yeah, festival. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not fucking touching. They play touched. Wagner. Yeah, they yeah, play yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> um, but so... Rafi is uh, uh, an amazing stand-up, and why m one of the most impressive things about you is you had a career in Brazil, you were doing just fine, and then you came to America to be poor. Why did you do that? And <laughs> why start over? Which none of no American comic would ever move to Brazil <laughs> or France or China. Some, some people do go to like Mexico City because Netflix was trying to just give out uh, specials, specials to anyone. <laughs> well, did they already speak Spanish? Sure, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really look that Specials far. Specials in Spanish. It. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, so they. So I guess they went down there, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I'll just be the best comedian in the in a scene that doesn't exist." Well, I know that, that there was like a big push <clears throat> for Latin American comedy, but Brazil is its own. It's a francophone or a portophone country, and so it doesn't fit into the larger. I mean, there's only like what, like eight countries that speak Portuguese. Yeah, it's like uh, Brazil, Angola, Angola Mozambique, Portugal, uh, Zimbabwe a little bit. No, Zimbabwe. Cape no. Verde. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's like there's Cape like Verde, eight the, countries. There's a place called Chim, uh, Timor Leste. I don't know how to say this in in English, but it's also a place that speaks Portuguese. Would you? It's, it's very Macau. Limited. Macau. I think there's a little bit of Portuguese. And, yeah. and wasn't uh, there was a, there was. Wasn't there an Asian, like, a, the, the Indonesia? Did you guys fuck there around is a, there? I've heard that there's a place, like a state in China. That speaks That's Macau. Asian. Yeah, Macau. Macau? Right, by, right by Hong okay. Kong. Okay. Yeah. okay, if there's a, uh, if you have to generalize a people by the language that they speak, would Portuguese have the most attractive people? No, only the Brazil. Only Brazil is the, the it, I don't think Portuguese people are necessarily that hot. A lot of hair, a lot yeah. of hair. So who... Mm. The, but the Brazilians are so hot that they're really pushing. Italians? Like, <laughs> hottest by language? Yeah, hottest by language. Fuck, I mean, you got to think about all the, like, per capita, maybe like one of those Scandinavian countries. Well, what, is, what is a hot person? That's the question, you know? You, the you know, I think Filipino really people cool are, when you are, see them and your dick gets hard. <laughs> yeah. That's how you, know you measure. <laughs> also known as hotty antenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> but so you... Do you see a person in your dick get hard? No. Can you just see a person? Because when I was a kid, I remember all those guys was like, "Look at this," mm. and I was always like, "I don't, I don't know if I feel what I, they're feeling right now." No, I mean, I, I get like a thing where sometimes yeah. if I haven't made love to my wife for a couple, you yeah. know, a little extended time, yeah. and then I see like a twenty-five-year-old like jogging without a bra on, I'll be like, Ugh, like you know, okay. like kind of. Yeah. Like I'm not a great look, you but know? your dick doesn't get hard. No, okay. I don't get it. I I don't think I've gotten like a unwanted boner for a long time. Oh well, yeah, you know? when you get older, it's I'm 41 crazy, right? years old. It it's never like I'm like get uh, get out of here. It's always like I'm trying. <laughs> I don't to even get, get wanted bo boners yeah. anymore. It's over. I think you got used <laughs> to having those unwanted, and you don't think about it anymore. You, yeah, you probably have to some extent. I mean, sometimes I'll wake up and it'll be pretty funny because I'll be trying to like help my pregnant wife, and I'll just have a boner, <laughs> and it's pretty funny to be helping a pregnant lady while you have a yeah. I met you a long time, maybe five years ago. Yeah, really? Was... Because I was conscious. I had kind of been one of those people that had gone. I'd gone to Brazil in 2014, and I'd learned about a sketch group called Poda de Fundos, mm -hmm. yeah. who's like one, still one of the funniest sketch groups. And what was amazing about them was. They were kind of one of the first um, kind of comedy groups to beat, like, to not do a network. They just did YouTube, and they were, like, oh. the largest comedy show in all of Brazil. Uh -huh. More people were watching it than any other TV show. And then through that, I found uh, there was a comic named Fabio Porchat, and I started following him. And then eventually, it led me to Rafinha. Yeah. Is it Rafinha? Rafinha. Rafinha, like the football player. Yeah. And um, then 
suddenly, even though I'd already followed him, he just was in New York in front of me at the Comedy Cellar. And really? I was like, oh my God. You've I, been here for five years? Five years, yeah. I arrived in uh, 18. I was in LA. We actually met the JFL. We did the same show at JFL. We yeah, did, yeah. We did the same taping at JFL in 2000. I think it was 18. Kevin Hart's LOL. Yeah. 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 I, I don't, I don't know if it anymore. ever aired. I've been here for five years too, and I think we've had the same amount of success probably. Yeah. Um, we've also been on Rogan, and we sell out a lot of theaters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 2018, so 19, I moved to to New York. That's when I moved. Oh yeah, to, September yeah. 2018 was when I got here. Okay. And did you you moved to LA for how long? One year and a half. And you did you like it? I did. I did. Yeah, because it was actually my first experience doing stand up in English was there. So the whole I have good memories of me just going up on stage and doing this in another language. Did that for the feel like? Time. Did it feel like the first time? Again, like no, it does. It didn't because you. I I know I, I've been doing stand up for a long time since mm -hmm. two thousand and three. So it's kind of weird because you're doing another language, but the, when you, I think doing in a not other language. Like if I was if an American guy was doing in French or in Italian, I think it would be more weird. Because when we think about stand-up, we think about English. You know? yeah. That's the reference that we have. When you watch Seinfeld, that's what the language the Seinfeld speaks. I've never heard of him. Yeah, that, that's the guy that had a, a TV show once okay. in a long time. Uh, that was uh, when you watch those Comedy Central Presents. It yeah. was all in English. So the reference that we had of stand-up was all English. You know? And but all it, that was available to you down there? No, not for a, not for, for a while. Because we started doing stand-up in 2003. There was, there was no YouTube. Yeah. So I remember the first video. Wait, so how did you get into it? I guess you were about to say. I this. lived I'm in. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got. It's I got okay, too excited. It's okay. Uh, 2019. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. 1999. I I moved to America to play basketball. Oh. I got a scholarship in a school in Nebraska. Uh huh. Which school? It was a small school called Chadron State College. Nice, so, dude. Division two school. Yeah, all right. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to have the experience of you no know, living in a, in a dorms. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I moved here, and I saw Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, well, look at this. <laughs> There's a guy on stage. He's not doing characters. He's not wearing a wig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not wearing makeup. So it's him talking about. He's not dressed like a bee. Not the, or, or a homeless, <laughs> you know? He's not playing a character, so I was like, that's pretty cool. Wait, so yeah. is comedy in Brazil at this time mostly that? It's yeah, like, uh, a it's, lot of characters, a lot of impersonators. Uh -huh. It's kind of like clown-esque. Yeah, but the, 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 the things that we watch on Telemundo. And those, sure, yeah, you know? yeah. That's how it is. Like, Noisy and screaming, a lot of singing, a lot of women with big boobs. Yeah. Almost. Don't mind that. No, Never yeah, had a problem. That, that would be amazing. That's always it's like live action, the far side cartoons. Yeah. Um, that's how it is in the Philippines too, where like, uh, it's like flamboyantly gay, like, mm -hmm. uh, like men who are just so flamboyantly gay that the, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like come back around to being funny. It becomes a character. That's what, yeah. The, yeah. So. But Brazil's unique in that. I think one thing that I noticed when I was in Brazil is that Brazil has a sense of self that a lot of countries don't have, like, you know, developing nations, mm -hmm. like where, when I'd go to certain countries in Latin America, it was always kind of looking towards America, right? Like the culture was like, what is America doing? Like, I want to go to America. I want to be like Americans. Oh, you're from America? Like, what? what's that like? When I went to Rio, they didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. They were like, we listen to Brazilian music. We eat Brazilian food. W kind of pop culture was still a little bit american leaning or like western leaning i don't know how you would call it i think but you got it was too, so different i think you got too deep in the american in the brazilian culture so you couldn't see yeah the one thing to be america but yeah everybody everybody wants everyone to, wants, yeah. everybody listen to kate perry everybody watch woody allen so. yeah but you guys like still have like samba i know but we have a very uh unique in particular and very uh we have our own identity and it's yeah. very clear. Yeah, we yeah. have our music. People love our music. We have a few movies that people love all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we developed our own culture and we yeah. have been doing that and we're proud of it. Yeah. But, bro, that's McDonald's. That's fucking Burger King's yeah. everywhere. I remember when McDonald's first 
uh, showed up in Brazil. Everybody was excited to eat a Big Mac. <laughs> Actually, B McDonald's in Brazil is kind of, a, I wouldn't say fancy food, but it's expensive. Nobody, oh, not, really? not, not everybody goes to McDonald's like here in the middle of the road. That, yeah. That's what you eat when you don't have money. Is McDonald's different there? Like, do they? Is no, the it's food the different? same thing. Oh, really? It's the same food. Because there's know that a guy with a machine down in front of it. You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not lying. It's the only difference. <laughs> yeah. There's like a guard with a, like, just a giant machine gun. Uh -huh. like, Hold it to protect yeah. the yeah. To protect the, the nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah. when you came when you came here, um, we it it was kind of just after Trump, and mm -hmm. um, since I'm like kind of a Latin America <clears throat> nerd, mm -hmm. I always like am kind of keeping up on stuff going on down there. Um, I knew a lot about Bolsonaro, Jair Bolsonaro, the former president mm -hmm. now kind of, but it was a very like there was a trend in the world where the Philippines got Duterte, America got Trump. Uh, you know, there was even like Coney, like all these, all these people, like it, I actually looked it up and, uh, Bolsonaro, it's, it's all like allegations and suspicions, but like maybe worked with Cambridge Analytica as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, but the, what, WhatsApp was a big thing. Yeah. Uh, WhatsApp was huge. Day. What was the other one? Telegram? Telegram. Yeah. Yeah. Telegram. yeah um, where you, I, we, Americans don't use those channels. Yes. Like that's actually like a huge, like, uh, unless you want drugs, but no, but like, or you are okay, dating someone. A lot of yeah. other, like, to you're, you're trying to, you're in a 90 day fiance yeah, situation. Yeah. <laughs> like the I only get a person I follow on, um, the only person on, on WhatsApp that has like a channel is Tanil. TJ, oh yeah, yeah, and it's because like that's like I yeah I I guess you post socially, but I don't think a single American knows that WhatsApp is a social app. They just yeah. think it's like oh that's how you call a foreign comedian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're that's in how you London, that's how spots. you text. <laughs> yes. that's how you text for spots. You have to download WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, have, the whole world uses WhatsApp. I know, but Americans <laughs> yeah, were just like, "What?" Couldn't the care less. Get iMessage. Oh yeah. my! Up. Yeah, but the problem with iMessage is that when you change, when you change your phone, people cannot reach you. Yeah, that's why you keep the same phone number forever, right? Forever. Yeah. I've had the same phone number since I was like. 13, 14, oh whenever God. I had a cell phone. 19, I think. But wow. that's about the same time because we... Because you're so much older than me. 41. Yeah. How and old I, are you? 46. 46. Yeah. God, you look great. Trying to keep. Yeah. Trying to keep. You're a yeah. healthy boy. Oh, yeah, I try to be. Try to be. So what I was going to say was uh, basically I was I was kind of interested in Brazilian uh, politics. I, I, I paid a little bit of attention because I'd, I'd liked Lula. Uh, Lula da Silva, the former president and now current president, thirty fifth and thirty ninth, um, and then a bunch of stuff went down between there. We Wilfred haven't talked does a, a little bunch. research, so he doesn't, so he's not back in the conversation. Well, right? he, w Wilfred's gonna lead. I love Wilfred. He's like he's the guy who do his homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every podcast is like. Oh, I well, I was like, you guys yeah. are you guys, like. Yeah. We've hung out and it's yeah. been like it's been very fun. But I was like, you guys know each other better, so mm -hmm. the only way for me to participate in this conversation is by shit. by directing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, well, we do this for every episode. Okay. There's like a nerd who does their homework, and then yeah. the other one's like an antagonist. Yeah. So you guys will ha try to have fun talking to each other, and then we'll and then I'm gonna say, but I read uh, Wikipedia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but this is also the only time that we've ever done this, which is like kind of a mo like a current events uh -huh. type of thing uh -huh. because. A lot of this stuff has happened more recently. We yeah. haven't really talked about something we, you know, we talk about a lot like Napoleon mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. fucking World War II or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's all boring stuff. No, no one wants I, to listen to those no episodes. One, no yeah. One, no. But also, I know that because you have somewhat of uh, a celebrity in Brazil, people know you. I would say that. Yeah. That you also, your politics are kind of. Uh, I was, I did a TV show for. Uh, for some time in Brazil, and we got a lot of politics in it. It was called CQC. Hmm. It was a very, it was a huge TV show in Brazil. I mean, and that was the same TV show it was in Brazil, Chile, different versions: Brazil, Chile, uh, Argentina. We had in Israel, I Italy, Portugal, Spain. What does mm -hmm. it stand for? What's that mean? CQC, custo que custa cost, uh, cost. Of, I don't know how to translate. Coast to coast. No coast to coast, but uh, uh, do what you can. Okay, that would be the name. And it's do, do are, what you can. Are, uh, are they all kind of leftist? I would say liberal. So. Yeah. Liberal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 
It is. It is more. Okay. So we are actually, you know, a lot of people, of course, it's a lot of noise on the web, but a lot of people uh, point at us and give us the res- uh, point at us the responsibility of creating Bolsonaro. Oh, really? Because we oh, made yeah. fun of the guy for yeah. a long time. So we exposed his ideas on TV and we mocked. But that wasn't enough. Yeah. When people saw that, yeah. a few people were like, you know what? That's not wrong. And then he became president. I wouldn't say that we were the only ones who were doing it. And we didn't do with the purpose of, you know, electing the yeah, guy. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. but we... Gave him a lot of airtime. That is the part of my research is that you are you are to blame. Um, yeah, we are blamed <laughs> yes, exactly. A lot of people blame us for like launching his uh, his political but career. I, but I don't, I don't, I don't. It's uh, yeah, yeah. We expose him, but we never went to people's house and make them vote on. The well, crime. obviously not. But um, one thing that is interesting that I don't think a lot of Americans can commiserate with. I mean, maybe more recently, but like. Brazil, a lot of parts of Brazil are pretty unruly, right? Mm-hmm, yes. And so when a guy like him When you comes say in, that, what do you mean? Uh, you can get robbed in your home mm-hmm. or okay. you're kidnapped or uh-huh. uh, killed in crossfire. Yeah. You know? I don't think they've seen me, though. I'm a really big... I'm an alpha, okay. you know? Yeah, no. That will never happen yeah. to you. That would I know, never happen. I know. Yeah, I, you could try. I, I don't think you're... You want me to go down there and, and stop I would crime? Love to see crime. You. Yeah, I would I would love to see you go to the favelas and yeah. try to stop some shit. I'm going to go down there, I'm going to wear a cape, and then fix Brazil. Yes, that would be awesome. But, uh, <laughs> you know, like the things with the favelas or the things with the kidnappings and things like that, do you think that um, people kind of just throw up their hands and they go, okay, we need a guy in here who's like a dictator? Uh, no, I don't think people chose a dictator. I think the main reason why people elected Bolsonaro it's because uh, the Workers' Party, which is yeah. Lula's uh, party, PT, they were involved in a lot of corruption scandals. Yeah. So, but that was, you know, th- that's that's when things get a little weird because that's the way Latin countries do politics. You know, yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not just saying, oh, he did this because everybody was doing it. But yeah, that's the way. Unfortunately, yeah. that's the way politics in Latin America operate. There's a yeah. lot of corruption. Well, of course, Bolsonaro did the same shit yeah, when yeah. he became president. But he was this force. He was a guy from the army. So nobody had that much uh, information about his political career. He was in Congress for 24 years before he got elected. Yeah. But he was more considered like this uh, coronel, you know, like yeah. more, he was more an army guy mm-hmm. than a politician. So people, what state was he from? In Rio de Janeiro. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So people look at this guy as more almost like a hope because you know this guy he looks serious. He he's not going to be involved in corruption scandals or anything like yeah. that. Of course he was. I also think he has been for years, but the, the whole marketing shit, you know, that's how they. The same time Trump was this guy. Who didn't have any political experience so he could do better in brazil they tried to do the same thing with this guy he mm-hmm. had political yeah. experience but he was never like a governor he was not like a mayor so he never was running shit. Mm-hmm. but he was uh always playing the game yeah, yeah. But, but they I, were able to market him I as a hope he was like uh i mean there's so much social change that was happening at the same time and i think similar to the us it's all the social change that's happening rapidly and a lot of people aren't quite comfortable with the change that's occurring, like I agree. like the LGBTQ movement yeah. and all that stuff. Like was, in both countries, were like, I'm not ready for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I these Christian values are very important. You know, every poor country religion is a big thing. You yeah. Know? yeah, in every poor country, because you need hope, you need to believe in something. In Brazil, the Christian church, the evangelical church is huge. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Mormons too, right? Uh, no, I don't know. If, no, no, not Mormons. They're evangelical. I don't know if you ever saw uh, these churches. There's a lot in uh, uh, texts and stuff called yeah. Pare de Sufrir. Yeah, yeah. This mm. is the evangelical church, uh, Igreja Evangelica do Brasil. This is what I studied in in um, college, was I was like studying the evangelical movement in mm-hmm. Latin America. Oh, yeah. That was huge. Because a lot of times, like the uh, evangelical church would actually be in line with 
the dictatorship mm-hmm. yeah and like american uh conservatives would be kind of the only ones that were allowed to do um like kind of mission work because they weren't going to go down there and teach people that they needed a bunch more rights yeah so no. they'd go down there and like hand out reagan flyers and basically shit. yeah yeah i mean my grandfather-in-law was probably down there and just having a good old time and you could have stopped this you knew all this was going on you did nothing <laughs> I, I supported it okay you were alive for part of the dictatorship then what were you alive for part of the dictatorship? <sighs> You're like talking the about yeah, no, during the, the years military where the military, right? yeah, because the military dictatorship went from sixty four to eighty four, with twenty years. Yeah, okay. So, so I was alive for part of it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I was born. In Did seven. you do anything, Andy? No, yeah, I you could, you could have stopped, always. and I could have too, because yeah. I was alive. I was there. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> you Poor did. Andy, I was there. God, you guys are. I wasn't alive till '86, so there was like nothing I could do. Uh, yeah, you were seven years old. Yeah, when I uh, yeah, so that was like until '84. So that was a long time. Do you ago. remember this? Like I kind of remember. Okay, we didn't have elections. We didn't have uh, people running for president. I remember the feeling. Also, uh, that's what I, it, uh, he ended when I was eight years old. So I don't have the. I remember me going on the streets. To ask for democracy with my my class, oh, so really? they would cancel classes and we would go out on the streets carrying pamphlets and like uh, uh, painting our uh, our faces like different colors, like the the, uh-huh. the flag, and th- that I remember clearly. It, that was us asking for elections. We didn't have elections. Yeah. So the first election in Brazil in '84, it wasn't even people couldn't vote. It was the Congress that elected, but before that it was the army. For mm-hmm. years and years and years was the army. Who did the con- who did Congress elect in '84? He was a, gal- a guy called Tancredo Neves. What was his background? Yeah, uh, he was he was more like the, this guy in the middle. He wasn't right wing or left wing. Mm-hmm. At that time, Lula was already the guy from the left. Yeah, but yeah. the left was more like it seems small though. Yeah, at that time, at that time. The left was seen as this radical movement, you know. Yeah, yeah. and so the, the that, dictatorship wouldn't have let that happen. Uh, right? Yeah, they wouldn't let that happen at that time. But the guy who got elected now is considered more like uh, the, his party is more a little bit leaning to the left because now we have the right. At that time, those guys we considered the right. Yeah, yeah. That's and Lula how... was the left. Now that we saw the right, these guys oh, are really? like. Uh, yeah, they are not those people. You know? I mean, that's pretty similar because Republicans in like oh, the then, '90s in the U.S. we were like, "Oh, they're the worst," and now you look at them and you're like, "That's like a pretty yeah, agreeable dude." <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there's this thing that uh, I still don't know exactly what went on, but in uh, it said that Bolsonaro came into the public eye in '86. He wrote an article about so he was in the uh, in the, the military, army, yeah. and they were they had cut the wages of the military, and he was like struggling to like support his family off of like an officer's wage and he wrote an article in Veja ma- magazine Veja, yeah, yeah. uh I, I think i pronounced it's it right. okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, please listen to wilfred uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you do the research I yeah. uh, you're right no, i'm just i'm like andy i'm just winging yeah. yeah yeah uh but he wrote an article and then he got arrested and put uh, in prison for 15 yeah. days for writing so, an article. For writing an article. Yeah, because he was considered a rebel in the army oh, you know, okay. when he did that. Yeah. Oh, so really? he was arrested, but he was not arrested in the in the national prison. He was arrested by the army, and being arrested it's by like slap on the ah, wrist. it's like you're you're gonna be in a room for yeah. for two days. That's <laughs> not gonna be. I don't think so. Yeah. So I don't think that, you're gonna be arrested for. So the army was the one who arrested yes. him for like speaking out. Yeah. But wasn't he speaking on their behalf? No, no. There's a hierarchy in the army that you have to kind of respect. And also, uh, you cannot go public talking about the army when you are part of the army yeah, you know? yeah. so he, he, he i think it was he wasn't banned it's like the comedy seller you it's, guys can't talk about what yeah <laughs> it's like you know what it's really like it's like when ronaldo cristiano goes and he's like i'm not gonna show up to practice with eric ten hog and then eric ten hog's like all right go fucking play for yeah wherever where Saudi did he go arabia I'll, I'll no but he out? went somewhere before that he played somewhere else first ac milan last i week? don't remember that come on 
Oh, you only like basketball. You're you're a yeah. bad. You don't Brazilian. play. You don't, you're not a yeah. football fan. Care less about soccer. Fucked up. You know what I learned? Neymar I, just went to Al Hilal. Oh, you know what did? I, I looked up? Yeah, I looked up uh, which one of my favorite Brazilian soccer players support Bolsonaro. <laughs> oh yeah, most of them. Uh, most of them. Yeah, M- MMA Neymar, fighters to me. That, that yeah. The, the thing that I followed. Does before. Neymar support Bolsonaro? Yeah. Oh, huge. Really? Huge. Yeah. Dude, he was like, like he uh, was there doing dances. He's like, he was my king. Yeah. Bolsonaro is my king. Something like that. Fuck. Yeah. And uh, I mean, uh, well, they're all rapists anyway. So yeah. it's kind of like, what do you expect? <laughs> I, I am uh, hurt by. Well, I mean, I guess who cares? It's Gabby Jesus was also. Gabby also, Jesus. Yeah. Fuck man, I, I couldn't mean, find uh, anything about Martinelli or we're Arsenal fans. Okay, so I couldn't find anything about Martinelli or. Uh, I wonder about the new kid who's playing. There's a new kid who signed for Real Madrid. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know. He's like 16 or 17 years old, but he's black. So I'm wondering if maybe it's a different politics. Well, Gabriel de Jesus is. Uh, no, but he's darker. You know what I mean? Would you be considered white in Brazil? Yeah, very yeah, would. Well. See, I'm that's the Andy Haynes of Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they'd like make fun of that's him. Me. That's me. That's that's what's got... crazy is that because uh, you're not white here. I know, I know. And I was, they kept on. Uh, I was watching these documentaries, and they're like, you know, the whites versus, versus like the blacks, and yes. I was like. They're not white. <laughs> no. Well, that's funny because when I go to Sweden, I'm actually black. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you have a little bit of brown hair. Yeah. Get out of our restaurant, so, loser. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to back the things up for the audience uh, and just go over some like historical stuff yeah. so they can catch up with this conversation. Great. So Lula, uh, we'll start with him, starts the Workers' Party. He used to be a metal worker, got in- involved in unions, and then uh, during the military dictatorship started the Workers' Party, or PT. Mm-hmm. Par- PT. Ha- Partido dos Trabalhadores. Yeah, I was going to say that exactly. Uh, and then uh, ran for president in 1990, 1994, and 1998, and didn't win until 2002, where he served two terms. Mm-hmm. Lula, um, best, uh, like, uh, what's what's the word, the terms where, like, they, they really like the guy? Most favorite? L- likeable? No, like the uh, popularity. Yeah, it's like you know, uh, like Most Biden. Biden president. only has like a certain like thirty percent. He was of, like the Obama of Brazil. Whatever, eighty-seven percent of the the country really Accept- liked this guy. Like acceptance. Or oh, something. you're talking about um, what's that term? The rate. Uh, what do you call it? Pop. It's the poll. Uh, what is it? approval rating? Approval rating. Approval I rating. actually had it written down. Highest stupid. approval rating. Uh, <laughs> Man, this is not a smart podcast. It took us we like were, five uh, minutes Justin to get Wilfred to is approval. amazing. The problem is he can't read. Yeah, yeah. 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 His yeah. eyes are tiny. These are actually all just pictures <laughs> I drew. <laughs> um, 87% approval rating. There's a, a point where he like meets Obama and Obama's like, you're the most popular Yeah, you're politician. the guy. That's what he said. Yeah. That's the fr- the the sentence that was everywhere. Like, yeah, you are the, the guy, guy, and he said you're the most popular politician in the world. Wow. Um, he's very. I mean, he's got like a Santa Claus kind of vibe to him. He's very cute. Yeah. Pull he's up also, the, Do you know what he looks like, like? Yeah. Okay. Good. Come on. I'm, Never mind. A you fucking professional here. Uh, so a part of I think why his approval rating was so high was that he happens to they happen to discover this huge oil well off the south, mm-hmm. um, and it brings in so much money to Brazil. Like raises. Not only that, not only that, like uh, the, this internationally, the, the, the world was living in, in the moment that kind of helped Brazil. A lot of different situations helped Brazil to actually grow as a, a force, you know? I'm not saying that what, he did, a, he, I think he did a great job. I think he did a great job too. But, but. also, uh, what were those things that were happening? Oh, I have no idea. That's you, too much for me. <laughs> Wilfred, I'm sorry. You can't I'm, bring something my, up. My knowledge is very limited. <laughs> Tell him that I'm a comedian. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's pushing me too much. He's a pretty dumb guy. I'm yeah. a dumb guy. You're a celebrity. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are but, looking up to... They're going to listen to this podcast but to, that's a very good to thing. get your influence. But I. Uh, <laughs> but there was a lot of things happened. That's what didn't happen with Juma because when Lula left... He passed he, it off. He, passed, he was yeah. able to to help Dilma, which was yeah. one of his uh, secretaries, yeah, yeah. to actually become president. So inter- like the world was different when yeah. she became president. Well, he, so, so the situation was not good for her. And, yeah. I don't, I, and also, I don't think she was, uh, she didn't do the best job. That I she don't think could. she was a good politician. She was, uh, she, I think she was. She didn't play the game right. 
she didn't play the game. That's the thing. Are you afraid that we're going to leave just, marks? I don't like on a sweaty glass. That's the, the thing <laughs> with Latin America. You got to play the game. Yeah. Lula knows how to play the game. Yeah. If you play the game too much, you end up in jail. Yeah. I think that's what happened with a, a, a lot of politicians in Brazil. I'm not excusing the behavior. The behavior is uh -huh. wrong. Dilma didn't play. While Dilma was the president, it was the first time in the Brazilian history where politicians, when politicians went to jail. That never happened before. Yeah. So she Lava wasn't Jato. playing the game that much yeah. that she was not stopping leakings. You know, she was like, you know what? Those people are fucking assholes. Let them go to jail. Guess what? Those all, those guys, they are all they run Congress. Yeah. So they found a way to just impeach her. Yeah. When, when the dictatorship ended, did anybody get in trouble for? Did they do any prosecuting? That was a lot of uh, a lot of people were, were arrested fighting against the the power or the, the, the but the, none, the of, the, none yeah. of the military ever got in trouble for all the assassinations and the murdering and uh, no i don't think so no the, he, he actually when uh bolsonaro was in congress and he was voting for the dilma's impeachment uh -huh. he because you, you can say on the microphone if you agree or you don't by agree. the way you're the congress at, at in brazil looks so much fun like they're all alive and yelling yeah, and they cursing. Fight. Yeah. And What's it yeah. called? You can't, they're stealing shit. Of course yeah. it's fun. No. Thing on your lip. It's on your lip. You got it. You got no, it you know you didn't. No, I didn't. No. Well, it's gone now. So, well, if it well, po was... pops up again, we'll... Okay, okay, tell me. Yeah. It was a bug. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had a bug on your lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, hold on. Uh, the the uh, one thing I wanted to ask, though, uh, before we move on, what the fuck was it? It was... Um, Oh, but no, just just from, let me just uh, and when Bolsonaro was oh, voting, yeah. he actually made a tribute to one of those torturadores. How do you say torturadores? Torturers. Torturers. Yes, he was like, I, I, in in honor of this guy, I vote yes for. And the he was one of the and 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 it was explicit. It was especially mean because she had been tortured. She was tortured. Yeah, she was for, yeah. tortured for like she was five. Tortured. Her husband was tortured. Yeah. Uh, Carlos Araujo was a guy from uh, from, uh, from the south. So it was crazy. Bro. Yeah. And he got elected after a while. Where was there a little like I remember? Um, I remember hearing about uh, Caetano Veloso being like, just I cannot believe the state of the country. Kind of like he, who's he, that? He's like one of their more famous musicians, mm -hmm. older guy. He'd been kind of <laughs> big, big, big since the eighties, maybe yes. earlier. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was going to be a politician. <laughs> no, Caetano Veloso. He's a, he's a magician. He's a, he's a <laughs> musician. Musician. Oh. You thought it was a magician? I thought you said magician. You thought I said one of their more famous magicians? I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Brazil is such a wacky country. They try, they ask him of the magician. That's like us asking David Copperfield, "What do you think about this whole Trump Can thing?" You imagine? <laughs> it's Chris, oh, the, An the, the Chris Angel. The government <laughs> sucks. <'Cause> like, <laughs> he's doing this moves to the kid, dropping a like a little smoke bomb. Yeah. You know what? Votes. You know what? We need peace. <laughs> 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 <You> know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh a dog just fucking <laughs> He um he, what did he say though? But then no, he was just like it was like uh, you know when when Trump was elected his we kinda music had... sucks. I hate it. You hate guys on the bus. You probably like I like it. some of it. A lot of it I... Oh, I think it's so boring. I like I don't like his oh. pop stuff. I like like uh he's got like a couple albums with People uh, love that shit. You know, people Jobim. love Brazilian, Brazilian music. I love my country, but I don't connect with that music. What I'm about sorry. Favela, Baile Funk? Oh, that's a, that I like. Yeah, Baile Funk. I like fun. Baile Funk. I like funk. I like, I like the beat. I like what stereo. about oh. some Sergio Mendes? Yeah, no, though. Uh, you don't like it. What about Brazil? 66? I like that. Oh, the whole Bossa Nova shit. That's a I love Bossa Nova. I love funk. Yeah. Brazilian the, funk. The baile funk. A uh, baile funk. La yeah. favela. Well, we're going to have to dock you some points oh. because you don't like Boston. And I like Brazilian magicians too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the magicians are amazing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I, I want to go back to Lula's mm. facts. Okay. okay. So he gets, so they, they strike oil. Let's g get back to that. Okay. And he uses that money. This is where he becomes a cool guy to start Bolsa Familia, which mm -hmm. is a, a welfare program. Yes. Uh, Fome Zero. How do you, how do you say that? Fome Zero. Fome Zero. 
which is a, a which fights hunger. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's rapid growth in the GDP. Twenty million Brazilians escape poverty in, yes. in the eight years. Um, I like to think that poverty's chasing them, and they like, yeah. they get clear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Poverty's got its hand out like this, and uh -huh. they get into the free zone. <laughs> uh, and then uh, he is succeeded by Dilma. Uh, who was his uh, chief of staff. Chief of staff. In this time, Jair is coming into the picture. Military captain, covered that. Uh, so Lula is president. Bolsonaro through this time is uh, the only real conservative voice that's coming. Everyone's all about, it seems like everyone's about the PT at this time. Well, that's what I was saying before. Like, uh, You would consider those guys that now are considered more oh, on yes. the left, they, yes. those guys were the, 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 it's the same thing that's here. Like, yeah. Uh, the Republicans would be the the right yeah. party. Now you, with Trump, you're like, ah. Yeah. Well, it's, so, it's the same thing. Like Bolsonaro dudes. now, that that movement is considered yeah. the right, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, at that time, those guys who are more on the left, they were the right for us. This mm -hmm. is what I was gonna ask earlier was um was Brazil conscious of the entire Latin American movement like Hugo Chavez, Correa yeah. in Ecuador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lula was connected to all those guys. And did did, did Brazilians like that, or was there a pushback? Did they kind of see well, that as a lean Bolsonaro towards? Well, when Bolsonaro became uh, was running for president, that was one of his politics. Like, oh, you're gonna vote for this guy who are supporting dictators all over uh, Latin America. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I don't like that as much. But at the same time, how Brazil is such an isolated country if you think about it we are in the south of south america in order for you to survive in the world you need to connect with your neighbors you know yeah yeah you guys don't need that you don't even have neighbors. you have one in the bottom and one on top for us to survive and we, they both listen to us yeah, yeah they, <laughs> they both want to be you actually yeah. <laughs> so we need uh, the oil that comes from Venezuela, you know, we need a tourism in Chile. We need a, we need the a hot dogs from Argentina. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. we need Argentina. We need connections in order for us to survive in the world. You know, uh, I think it was during Lula we created this thing called Mercosul, so you don't even need a. Oh, a, that was the kind of EU of South America. You don't need. Yeah, yeah there's like a a, a block, a yeah. polit like a economic block mm -hmm. there. You didn't even need a passport to go to Argentina and Chile. So, oh, wow. so we became good neighbors. Yeah. yeah. But also, of course, uh, we had Maduro, we have Chavez. You know, we don't support that type of uh, government, but we need them. We yeah. need them. So yeah. now Lula is back making connection with those people. So he did one thing with Maduro, I think it was like, Three months. Who's Maduro? Ago. Maduro is the guy from uh, Venezuela. He's the Venez follow up to. He succeeded Ch Hugo Chavez. Yeah, exactly. Chavez. And Hugo oh, Chavez really? was like kind of a benevolent dictator. Like it, people liked him enough that it yeah. was kind of. And then Maduro succeeded him when he died of cancer. But also Chavez killed a lot of people yeah. who didn't like him. You know, yeah, Maduro does perfect. the same thing. I mean, yeah. I probably would have. But too. Maduro, like, basically just like for everything that Chavez was able to kind of prop up. Maduro just dropped any kind of like he's not good at his job. He's mm -hmm. not a good politician. People don't like him, but it, he just rules with the military now. And it's he, a full on dictatorship. And he has been president for a long time. Yeah. Elections are, you know. But Lula now went public to say, oh, this guy is being criticized for the world and he's doing an amazing job. Such an amazing person. I, I never, you know what? Polit uh, Lula is such a brilliant politician. That I don't know his purpose on doing that. If yeah. he wanna, if he wanna mess with America, there's always this guy. Is, he always has a plan. When you see mm. something is weird, he's actually setting up some shit for the future. He wants Venezuela because of the oil. So then, with the oil, we can fight against this guy. So he is a very articulate politician. Yeah. So when he does those, when he weird, speaks, he's so. It's so. I like loved him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just listening to him talk in front of an audience. He's a very good communicator, something yeah. that Bolsonaro was not. I mean, Bolsonaro is a very funny communicator. We we've talked about um like uh Duterte uh and on this podcast mm -hmm. and I think Bolsonaro is the of Duterte, Trump and Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro is the like 
best amalgamation of all of them because he's like the funniest. He's like, he's uh, do- did you doesn't guys have give that? a fuck. Because like in America, like, so we all know Trump is horrible, right? I, but but I, we also find him hilarious. Yeah, I think uh, Trump is more savvy. Yeah. And, uh, well, also we like than Bolsonaro. Yeah, Bolsonaro yeah. says so sometimes Bolsonaro says so, say some shit that we are like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, but he was uh, during COVID. He was he had COVID, so he was sneezing in his hand and shaking all these people's yeah, yeah. hands. <laughs> yeah, so we were like, this guy's fucking crazy. Can I t- go over so some that? Can be funny. Yeah, yeah I can agree. I go over some funny things that some things that I thought were funny because they're so horrible. Yeah, but uh, they're. Uh, so he, he was on TV and he said, uh, this is a quote. If your son acts a little gay, just slap him and he'll stop. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Okay. Um, do you recall that when he Uh, got into that fight with that Congresswoman? Yeah, of course. That thing is back. It's back in your mouth. Okay. I got it. You got it. There you go. Oh, I I ate Is it acai? No, no. I ate some fucking sushi. You had an acai bowl, didn't you? Sushi um, uh, so yeah, he, he got, he got he into was, a fight yeah. with an, a congresswoman. She, uh, he said to her, "You're so ugly that nobody's gonna rape you." Yeah, nice. He said, uh, which, well, was, <laughs> "Which was actually a joke that I did on stage and got me a lot of trouble in Brazil." Oh, really? It was not like he did. It was <laughs> it was not that that open, but I did a joke similar on stage and I got lawsuits and stuff. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, yeah. So it was unfortunate uh, he didn't. But he doesn't follow my career, so he, he wouldn't stole never, that from you. you know, yeah, <laughs> that was actually your bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was my joke. <laughs> it was my joke. Yeah, he Carlos like Mencia, a, a, a gotcha, <laughs> yeah. a gotcha podcast. I'm not proud of that joke. I wouldn't do it again. But uh, yeah, it bought me some trouble. I mean, that's the thing. Is like with, with comedy, you're a comedian. Yeah, so it's you different. made the mistake but where he is different when I critis- is a leader. When I criticize Bolsonaro, that's the the uh, people point at me like. Yeah, but look at the things you said in your life. I'm like, I'm not running the fucking yeah. country. Yeah, I think that's I, a I, weird I, thing that we're kind of back where we're, we're getting away from finally, which was I think there was a movement in the United States where it was like, well, if you make fun of these things, people are going st- to are, – are, other people are going to think it's okay. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Like, if you call these people stupid, people that don't know them are going to be like, well, I guess they're stupid. Mm-hmm. But I think we've kind of got- grown up a little bit and been like, we can make fun of somebody and not think that they should be uh, killed or whatever. Genocided, yeah. <laughs> you know. But there, Here's another funny thing that he did. So he, uh, his first wife, her, her name's Rogerio. Um he starts uh, an affair with one of his uh, assistants in Congress, mm-hmm. uh, and then she wants a divorce, right? At the same time, she's running for city council in, in Rio, and as uh, like uh, to fight back, he makes his sons – he wants one of his sons to run against her in city council. So he asks, he goes down, he has three sons. He goes down the line. Flavio doesn't want to do it. Eduardo is like, I'm too close with her. Carlos, youngest son, 17. He's like, sure, why not? He runs against her, wins, and then he's just like in Congress playing video games. <laughs> 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 There's like videos of him like playing. Uh, Wait, like you co- can run for Congress at 17? I yeah, guess I so. so uh, city council, city council. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Rio. Yeah. Oh, nice. I yeah. guess so. I and this is his ex-wife? <laughs> this is his ex-wife. This is his first wife. He, Wait, was it? The, was it these guys' parents? This yeah, guys, this guy's yeah. ran against their mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That rock yeah. is so funny. <laughs> oh man, um, I wish I was like that. Would be so funny to be in a family that powerful where you had to um, pick sides on which parent. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine your dad being like, "You have to pick a side." <laughs> there was uh, these moments where, uh, well, this is like later when they were um, so. We can get in. I, don't, I have a lot of facts on Operation Car Wash, which Lava Jato, which is I don't know if it's interesting though, but that's what sent Lula to prison. But do you know before all of this? When probably did I you do. know when he was running that he got stabbed? Yes, actually, come on. Yeah, come I was sure. Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro yeah. got stabbed six were weeks you in before. Brazil? Were you in Brazil? Yeah. And how big of a news was that? Oh, it was huge. That that. But that's election... kind of crazy. But that's kind of crazy that. Uh, that's how Latin America is. I think that's insane. And we should be talking about this until today. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the guy that was present got stabbed. Well, it's it also- was something that people talk a lot about a little bit when he got better. 
That was old news. Yeah. But here's the thing. Not only did he get stabbed, his the guy that was winning, this election is wild because the guy that was winning gets sent to prison. Then the guy that's winning next, that's in the lead, gets stabbed. And then this is all like within a month, <laughs> right? And then six weeks later, the elections happen. Like that's... How do Brazilians react to this as a whole? Is the, there marching in the streets? Is there... You're just talking about the, the stabbing? Like, just with this much talk. Like, if this happened in America, I don't know how we would That's react. That's life in a, in a developing but, country, my yeah. friend. You got stabbed. I mean, the... You know what? I have a, a lot of people still think that the stab was fake. Really? Yeah. Because here's the thing. Yeah. The fact that he got stabbed uh, made him not go to the debates. Yeah. He couldn't debate. Yeah. He couldn't debate. But it also propelled yeah. him. He was he he couldn't debate. He doesn't have the knowledge to debate. Oh, he's really? a very li- he has a very limited brain. He's just kind of an army Bolsonaro. dude. Bolsonaro. He's an army dude who played the game. Someone marketed him as a hope and then he got but elected. Do you, do you think that like cuz uh, Trump won all those debates not with knowledge? I don't think he, he was that's what I, that's what I know agree with you. Uh Bolsonaro doesn't have 10% of the brain Trump has. He's not that, uh, if you see the debates, because in the last election, uh, that the election that he lost, he went to the debates. He's boring. Really? He's boring. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not like, shut the fuck up, because that would be fun. That would no, be fun. he's not that guy. Yeah. Hey, but you, if you, I'll show you some images. It's like boring, and he tries to explain himself. So he is very good with headlines. Did he debate When Lula? he has his people around, he's a coward. He's yeah. not as fucking brave uh, brave. Did he debate Lula? No, he didn't. But oh, in the most recent one. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Lula, yeah. That's so... It was very actually... It was boring. Think about really? how crazy that yeah. would be if, like, before Trump got elected, we arrested Obama, put him in jail for all of Trump's thing. He mm. gets out of jail, and then he becomes the president again. That will yeah. happen. That's so insane. All of this but is think nuts. about it. Think about it. The stabbing create a uh, cre- create a, a martyr yeah 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 you know and also the jail, there's, there's a lot of people the jail there. also you know just uh, pro- proposed propelled propelled Lula yeah yeah you know because then this guy is in jail and all of a sudden the guy who put him in jail is considered a criminal yeah Sergio Moro is one of the guy uh, look at this the guy the judge who put Lula in jail became uh, Did he get put in prison? No, the guy, no, the guy who put Lula in jail, after like one year when Bolsonaro got elected, becomes his one of his secretaries. Yeah. So it's like, wow. oh, but did, how can you? You have interest in this game. Yeah. So Sergio, he's <laughs> not only a judge who's just playing fair. No, you you became his fucking secretary. Yeah. Yeah. So when when uh, Lula got sent sent to prison, he was sentenced for nine and a half years. He only served 500 something days uh, because they found out that Sergio Moro had uh, like taken uh, bribes, had or? a stake yeah. in the game. And uh, and did Sergio Moro face any consequences? No, uh, no, no. I don't. I don't think he, he got kicked out of the samba party. But yeah. he's not. Um, he wasn't part allowed of, to uh, dance. Part of the barbecue. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't allowed to go. They to made the, him go to the magic show for yeah. <laughs> But also, like Moro, when Lula was going to jail, Moro, uh, you could see like people carrying uh, like a huge, like his face on the streets. People are marching like Moro is our savior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Moro, that's a judge, right? It's a judge. Yeah. So it'd be like if we were like holding up Clarence Thomas's exactly. face. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which is like who, we, who but is it's so that funny because we <laughs> yeah, exactly. we do like look down on you guys a lot. Like as Americans, we look down at your political system and we go, These guys are fucking nuts. But then you find out like recently, like Clarence Thomas has taken like fifty four yeah. paid vacations from mm-hmm. people with all it's all the same interests. shit. Like they I mean it was so interesting because there's a part of like their timeline where uh, their the events happened before what we went through, and then there are some, and then you know you, there are some things that happened right after, like January eighth, mm-hmm. uh, which is their January sixth, the, where they stormed the Capitol. Yeah, um, I think it doesn't happen as January eighth. Well. You guys did it on the eighth. Yeah, I think. Generally, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Yeah, you guys kind of did. That was it January eighth when they. They went to Brasilia and they just break shit, right? That yeah, was the yeah, whole yeah. After, but it after seems like Lula you guys elect- do that a lot. Yeah, I- you know what's the problem? <laughs> it's it's not easy 
to just protest in our Congress because Brasilia, which is the capital, yeah. is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I've been there. There's nothing. Nothing. It's a made-up town. Yeah, it's like Las Vegas. Oh, but really? created a city out of nowhere. In 1950? 50, 50, yeah. It was 50, between 50, 55, I think. It's like when you fly into Brasilia, yeah. you are just over the jungle, and then you're over fields, and then there's a city it's just that, out of nowhere. It's exactly like Las Vegas. So it was the capital before somewhere else? Rio de Janeiro. It was in Rio? Yeah. So Rio wasn't Rio was the capital of Portugal for a little bit, right? No. For Portugal? So I there's Portugal and Abstentia. Yeah. So Portugal had to for when whatever the king, reason when the <sighs> king uh, I wasn't born yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 1700s, right? <laughs> yeah, this was a long I think it was yeah, it was yeah. a long Rio time. Rio de Janeiro ago. was the Portugal's capital. So the king yeah. of Portugal left okay. because the Spanish kingdom kicked them out. Right, uh -huh. they fled. They were gonna kill him. Those guys, they and so he called Brazil Portugal. And he was oh, like, "It's Portugal." Now. I yeah. didn't, I'm dumb. Yeah. I didn't know that. But th that's the funny. The Portugal thing. got it bad. You know, look at this. The world was divided between the Spanish territories and Portuguese territories, and all of a sudden, Portugal is this shitty country. But yeah, even, you guys really even they took a big L. Wow. Even you guys took an L in the sense that, like, obviously, you're colonized. You, like America, obviously, we could. We could dust England any day we wanted yeah, to, but at least England has like an identity, yes. like a world identity. The Beatles and mm -hmm. football and all these things like that. We have the Portugal. We have the magician Caetano Veloso. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are the you guys are the stars. Nobody gives a shit Nobody. about Portugal. Nobody's like, I love Fados. <laughs> you know, like you it's know? the saddest. I shit really ever. don't know anything about Portugal. It's they eat a lot of canned seafood. Yeah. They sing sad bluesy solo oh, songs. Oh, the song is very sad. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what else? They I, have uh, mustaches. Everybody has a mustache. The woman known for, has like, a lot of hair. Wine. Yeah, yeah. it's not good. They yeah, don't really have a not, lot. It's not. They have good football players. They yeah, do. who's, who's Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, but also never. Joao Felix, uh, yeah. Bernardo Silva. Yeah, yeah but, but those also guys aren't Portugal right. never went to like a fucking. They fight. won the Euros. Two, no, that last year, doesn't, doesn't mean they won the last we don't Euros. play that. We don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you guys, guys aren't even good anymore. <laughs> we are not. We are not. <laughs> you we guys were. are good. You guys no. are like fancy though. Uh, they you guys play. It's because they football. all went to the right. They all started voting conservative. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they lost their swag. We were good. When you know we who's not? Left. Who uh, is a Lula guy? Is uh, Danny who, Alves? Richarlson. Good. Danny Alves is in jail. Is he? Oh, for rape. Yeah. Where? Where was it? Turkey. You, he was in Europe, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, a, didn't that just happen? He's still just in jail. Happened. I, he's in Turkey, yeah. He was, I he's think he was jail. playing for Galatasaray. He was in a, in, a, in a party, and then he went to the bathroom with this girl, and that's what I read, and what is, I think the, the, the lawsuit's still happening, Yeah. that he, apparently, there's a chance that he might have raped her. Well, he should go to Saudi Arabia, because all the rapists are going there. Yeah. It's going to be the rape league, pretty soon. Yeah, the rape league. <laughs> the billionaire rape league. There's so many sad, uh, like people that i really respected i mean i never should have respected them because they're i, I shouldn't have expected okay. them to be smart responsible uh because they're jocks you know they like yeah they're people that became millionaires at 18 when benjamin mendy got let off of his rape charges there was like ten thousand football players being like i knew it brother you're you <sighs> fuck that lady and stuff like that and it's like that's not he there was eight other charges yeah. Like, uh -huh. he just got off one of them. Come on. This guy obviously has a problem. Uh -huh. And including players that we like, like Jesus and Zinchenko, all supported that guy. Yeah. And there's so much stuff like that Whatever in Whatever Zinchenko says, though, I support it. And how can you support rapists when your name is Jesus, right? Yeah. That's horrible. It's crazy. It's even worse. It's Jesus. Know. How about Neymar? <laughs> yeah. How about Neymar when your name is no more? Almost no more? <laughs> 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 but did you see what happened with him, with this girl? Did you see the whole yeah. girl shit that happened with him? Who, Neymar? Oh, yeah. What? He was playing in Paris Saint-Germain, yeah. and then he took this girl, this Brazilian girl, flew to uh, France, spent like two days with this guy, and then she just showed up with like all hurt and like yeah. oh, born really? of his butt and stuff. Wasn't and then also... people were like, what happened? And But it's so crazy when you are like this... When you are, uh, people like you, they wanna, they want to think that Michael Jackson never touched a kid. Yeah. yeah. They wanna try to find something 
that uh maybe she got into a car accident yeah no that that was she but maybe she was driving with her butt Uh uh-huh but actually she uh, she maybe she got into a plane maybe the plane crashed she was a little (laughs) cuckoo but was it didn't also he recently get um kind of found out for having like some weird debaucherous uh weekend with a trans woman too well, he, he also like publicly apologized to his girlfriend or for wife? cheating for cheating yeah. Neymar. Yeah, like he he posted it on Instagram. This guy lives on Instagram. It's <laughs> yeah. Do you know that? He's not have good. you seen his contract for Al Halal? Yeah, he uh, so he he gets a a private plane to use whenever he wants. They gave him a mansion with uh with a a staff. Does it have air conditioning? <laughs> It didn't mention that. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would have really checked on that yeah, first because yeah. it's hot there, dude. Um, he gets, uh, it's like eight million for like every win, I think. Um, and he gets 500,000, whatever Saudi Arabia dollars is. Um, but he gets 500,000 of that. You know what's crazy? That's why people don't respect this guy. Yeah. Like in, in France, you know that in France people hate it. Let, let me finish this though. He gets five hundred thousand dollars for every Instagram post he makes about Saudi Arabia. Wow! Every so he can just fuck, uh, rake up millions of dollars. What are the Saudi Arabians gonna do when Teslas are real popular? I mean, how are they gonna afford this? I don't think that they're really looking that far ahead. Man, that's it's crazy how much money they have. They basically just bought the entire world. Football league. They created a league. I think we're going to eventually end up watching Br- uh, Saudi Arabian football. Yeah, if, yeah I think we're can... eventually going to watch MLS too. Yeah, mm, I don't know about that. It's pretty bad. But so is but Saudi you have, Arabian. You, but you have Messi, I'll watch coming Messi. here, yeah. and then uh, I mean Miami is starting to get stacked, and then I think the rest of the MLS is going to become the same way. Um, we have two minutes left to they talk need, about. You know, the MLS need it's a good documentary on Netflix. You know those. Oh yeah, they show more than just the game itself. Yeah. So have you I seen can... the quarterbacks? No, I heard it's I, good. I tried. I I start watching. Yeah. You, you, did you watch Drive for Survive? I yes, didn't. Yeah. I, Are you F one guy? No, I'm not. That's like, how good the series. I got is. into yeah. F one after I saw it I because was like, I kinda, of the series. Yeah, because of the Hamilton. Uh, what's it? Did you watch Sh- the whole, the, the whole uh, every season, all seasons? No, yeah. just the first one. <gasps> Does it have that one black dude? In That's it? the one, yeah. hey, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton. Tiger. What were you going to say? Two minutes? Oh, we got two minutes, and I don't know if we actually covered everything. I know that, uh, so there was Operation Car Wash. Uh, Operation Car Wash is like, uh, it's uh, tied in with that oil company that, like, the oil that they found. Yeah. And, like, there's just a big scandal where it's, there's a lot to cover with that. I couldn't get it done in two minutes. And it's also maybe boring. So what happened? <laughs> Lula went to jail, and then... And let's then talk about Bolsonaro magic. Got, let's talk about magic. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about magicians. Was, who's your favorite magician? <laughs> uh, anyways, what we should end with is that Lula went to jail, got out of jail. Bolsonaro became president, stopped being president. Jilma's in jail. No, no, no. no. She, got she, she, she got impeached. She got impeached. So, okay. so uh, Lula goes to prison. She gets impe- uh, Jilma gets impeached. And Temer, who, who was uh, also uh, charged with this stuff, Nothing happens to him. But did he flip on them when she when she Temer was never was a was the other party. Temer, oh, okay. Temer was from this party, from this middle. Yeah. You know, okay, that we considered right a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. When Dilma was running for presidency, she needed the support from these guys, like a pack. You know, so yeah. that's why they put him this guy as a vice president. When mm-hmm. so when she got impeached. This guy became the president. Okay. So he was a wolf just waiting yeah. to, you know, a snake in the grass, just waiting for shit to happen. So what is the state of Brazil right now? What would you kind of quick? Lula is president. I think we are, the, our economy is getting better. Uh, dollars are not as expensive as they, they were before. Uh, I think we have a lot of, a lot of challenges to face pretty soon. Not everybody likes the right. And I'm really afraid that if Lula doesn't succeed we are going to have a guy like Bolsonaro again. You mean like if he like doesn't... Like Argentina. Argentina. Yeah, Argentina is about to elect The guy who Trump. ran for, for uh, the, the first I read term. about that this morning. He the looks real term. funny. Oh, that guy is like the Bolsonaro of Argentina. And that guy became... Uh, and now he's running for president. And he's considered the favorite. Look up mm-hmm. Trump of... Of um, Argentina. Yeah, just look up uh, Argentinian or Trump Argentina. Or I don't even know. So... What's his name? Trump of Argentina. I don't... Uh, here's my vision with America, which I think <laughs> is... <laughs> the rump. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, that's not him. My it's vision fine. of America, which I think is mirrored to Brazil, is that like I don't think we're gonna yeah, fix yeah, right this here. partisan. Look stuff. at this dude. Oh yeah. This oh, guy rocks. Dude, he's a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. He, he looks like a Bond villain. Yeah. Bond An villain. old one too. Like yeah. A, like a Pierce Brosnan uh-huh. era. Um we gotta we gotta move on. We gotta do another episode, so we gotta kick you out. Okay, but, of course. Uh, Am I ready to leave? Rafi, to leave? I love you. I love you. Thank you so, you so much, much for thank coming. Thank I'm really, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. For uh, let's Thanks all hold hands me. and pray. Is there anything you want to plug? Because I know you tour a bunch. And... Just my my Instagram. I'm touring. Uh, yeah. Rafi comedy. My Instagram. It's it's okay. Is that where you do everything out of? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. That's where people. Where are you so, going next? I'm going to. I don't know when you're going to release this, but I have beginning a, of September. I have a big show. September 16th at the Sony Hall. Okay. So oh. I'm going to the Sony Hall in New York. I have one show sold out, so I'm selling the second one now. Portuguese, okay. English. English. I don't, I don't. You don't do Portuguese No, anymore. not here. Not here. Okay. No. Okay. That's so, great. okay, uh, as as we're, we're wrapping this up, uh, we make everyone choose which uh, one of the hosts is their favorite. I'm sorry, Wilfred. I knew everything. What the fuck? <laughs> We'd never have done that before. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you're an amazing person. This guy, when I did my audition at the cellar, he was the first face I saw. And I was like, I think I passed. He was like, what the fuck? He was, he was That's gen- luck. That's was, yeah. pure but, luck. But he was genuinely happy for me. Yeah. And I felt that that was real. He just knew you have all those followers. <laughs> no, he didn't have them then. I didn't have them. Really? No. I did, of He course. built them all. Uh, <laughs> no, I just wanted to, you know, get it linked in with the Brazilian magician oh, scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go follow Rafi Bastos. Uh, yeah. Uh, check him out. Uh, he's uh, on the road. He's touring America. He's doing it in English. And uh, he also, uh, do you, you have a podcast, but it's in it's Portuguese, in Portuguese. Right? Yeah, don't, don't fucking listen don't to it. It's yeah. a, don't gibberish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.